Sunday, May 30th marks one year since the fatal shooting of 22-year-old James Skurlock. Today, his family held a celebration of life at Culture House to honor Skurlock. 3 News Now reporter Alyssa Curtis was at the event and spoke with Skurlock's family, who says they are still grieving. I am more than mad. I am outrageously mad. He didn't deserve it. And he was trying to do the right thing. One year after 22-year-old James Skurlock was shot and killed by Jake Gardner, Skurlock's family is still looking for answers. No, we're still not doing okay. We are not doing okay at all. We are still lost, confused, and wondering what's going on, and can we prevent another situation? Today, they held a celebration of life at Culture House. Leader Senator Ernie Chambers and Senator Terrell McKinney spoke on how the community can channel their anger and fight for political change. Community members recited poems, songs, and memories they had of Skurlock. His family thanked the community for coming out, but added that the event was a reflection of the past year, getting more support from the community than elected leaders. As the judicial system, it's your job to protect the people in this community. Regardless of what the situation was, you should have investigated, you should have done what you could. They want this to be a reminder to the community to fight for your rights and believe in yourself. While they miss their brother, they want him to be remembered for the light they say he brought into the world. Just remember how lit he was and how bright he was. And remember, he was a hero. In Omaha, Alyssa Curtis, 3 News Now.